Hey guys, it's Tarbrook94. Um, just coming here to show you that I just got my new 780Ti, as you can see up here. Oh shit, there you go. Uh, GTX 780Ti, it is the Gigabyte version. Um, it runs games like Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham City, Borderlands, uh, Call of Duty has a little bit of it, Warframe and Watch Dogs um, extremely well. The Nvidia Physex, um, it really runs that well. It runs off the GPU, if you haven't noticed. Um, I'm assuming you have. Uh, my AMD card obviously runs off the CPU and made made, made it so there's a lot of stability issues. Now, um, recording with Shadowplay, the little features you get like Shadowplay, Nvidia Gameworks, PhysX, um, Hairworks, all, all these things that are getting incorporated into games now are just a lot better obviously on the Nvidia products they're only incorporating the Nvidia products um, and if uh, you know I play a game like um, like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag um, well, I think it's just Assassin's Creed Black Flag I, I wouldn't say it's the fourth one but yeah you play this game on a AMD or an i290 on about medium and I can run it better on a 780 Ti maxed out than my my AMD could on medium um, I know the benchmarks say they're quite quite minuscule in uh you know being quite close um but they really aren't uh my my R9290 was overclocked to past a thousand megahertz core clock so it was a bit above an AMD or 9290X but the 780 Ti completely I mean you know kicks the shit out of my AMD cards that I've ever had um it is completely it's a complete tank and I've been using the Valley Benchmark 1.0 um, and originally, the I'm using Overclock Guru 2 by the way, um, originally 928 met boost um, and 7000 memory clock. Um, this was very good, I mean it's, it got me 61.6 frames average in the score, it gave me 2579, my minimum frames were 23.7 and my max was 115.1. Um, I then overclocked it, I'll quickly overclock it here. Um, I threw the GPU clock, the boost, all the way up to uh, 1,150. Um, I tried a few things, but 1,150 tend to be quite stable for my GPU anyways. Um, and it ran completely fine. Sorry, just quickly tossing up there. Uh, 1,150, just to get you guys, uh, in case you guys have the same card. Um, now I'll just type in uh, 400 there. That's easy enough. Uh, and then this, this overclock I had here, I didn't change the voltage, I didn't change the target, any of the power, temperatures, or anything. Um, not even the fan speed, I just kept on auto. Um, didn't notice a difference in temperature, but definitely noticed a difference in performance. Before, I had 61.6 frames. After the overclock, I had 71.9. My score went from, it was 2,579, that moved up to 3,010, a massive jump. Um, my minimum frames were 23.7 before the overclock. After the overclock, I got 31.5. And my max frames were 115.1 before the overclock. And after, I had 134. So a massive, massive jump. That's the biggest stable jump I've been able to get out of it. Um, obviously, if I incorporate core voltages, you know, it might be a bit more. Um, I am only running off a 650-watt PSU. So... I don't want to make, don't want to push too much at it because I don't really have that power just sitting there. Um, maybe when I upgrade, I'll be, I'll do another one. But this is the best uh, overclock I've seen so far. It gave me huge, dramatically, um, dramatically big, uh, different, you know, different scores, different averages on Valley Benchmark. I think it was 10, 10.3 um, up, you know, average frames, which is a huge jump. Um, any gamer will know that. Um, especially if you're dealing in you know higher resolutions than 1080p. I myself only run at 1080p, but I thought I'd overclock it just because, well, just because I could, you know, just because it's there. Um, but yeah, it is an extremely good graphics card. Uh, it runs every game absolutely amazingly. Um, it cuts through games like fucking butter. It and uh, it's actually above the recommended specs for the new, uh, well, not new, but the the re-release of Rise Son of Rome, it's actually above the specs for 4K resolution. Um, so I should be able to run that fine. I might do a walkthrough of that game as well. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, any, you know, anything, 
um, about overclocking, about graphics cards, about comparisons, whatnot. Um, you know, who do I choose? Nvidia, AMD. What you know, who I prefer more? The cons, dislikes of of both uh, companies. Um, just send me a message, comment, subscribe, um, and you know, I'll I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can, and hopefully answer your problem. All right, uh, see you next time.